I think it's heading in a direction and sometimes you want to head on a direction and sometimes you stop to like just enjoy the surroundings and not be so like into the hike. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I have to be going somewhere otherwise I start going nutty and doing something, I think. So why do you think you're this way? Um, I don't know. Um, it frustrates me when other people aren't. I think it's, the grass is always greener and you just want to know what a little bit better is and find out what it is and how to get there and do different stuff so you're not bored. So have you always been like that or? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Do you remember when it changed? No. No, not really. But you definitely are now. Yeah. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Ooh, um, probably actually my brother, Aiden, you know that one, the one we've known about for years, just because nothing has ever come easily to him and he's been so adamant to prove everyone wrong his entire life and now he's married and has a house and he's still like, I've never met anyone, he's got so many different jobs, he's just started like a new um, like apprenticeship. And it's like, I don't know, the fourth apprenticeship that he's done. He's never been fired. He just does them until he knows how to do them. And then he gets bored and he does another one. I think it's just embracing the discomfort. Can you talk a bit more about that? That's quite an interesting, interesting comment. Uh, I think you people get real comfortable sometimes. Too comfortable. And everything's just easy and breezy and you like go on to... Um, autopilot and like the time just passes but that's when it gets boring and you're not really doing anything it's nice to have a little bit of discomfort reminds you you're alive so do you seek that out sometimes yeah only when everything's boring do something different <laughs>